I wasn't going to do an update quite so soon, but uh, things moved along pretty good. So what I had before, I had the Uno set up and the display, and I had the Piso hooked up just to the, uh, the Pro Mini. Uh, since then, it, it went along real smooth. So what you'll see I've got here is I have uh, six channels displaying out live from uh, from the Pro Mini and if I just give the Nox the Piso a little bit of a tap you'll see channel one is uh, is jumping around now the other ones are floating right now because they're not hooked to anything on the Pro Mini so uh, they're gonna jump all over the place and whatnot but uh, anyway um, that's pretty much where it sits uh, we'll take a spin through I don't have the the screen capture software set up on this PC so you'll have to bear with a, a video and I'll show you how I did it because it was kind of a, a two-step process and uh, plagiarizing code basically so what I did let's see if I can get this uh, hopefully this captures I can't tell on this camera if it's in focus I really hope it is we're gonna say it's good enough so uh, on the left hand side the sketch is uh, that which I found online um, it was for a uh, voltmeter uh, and, and some, uh, uh, I believe, temperature measurement. We'll see in a second. So if you want to see the original, um, make note, just pause this and grab that, that link. Um, so what he had, he commented out a whole bunch of the code here. He had the Adafruit display, which was different than mine. This one from China, uh, be advised, the Nokia 5110, if you get them out of China, four and three pins are commonly reversed. Easy fix, but if you don't have that right, it doesn't display anything. So he defined in, uh, an integer there, and in the void setup is the setup for the display. This is great, except for the contrast, we'll see in a second. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. He did uh, in the loop, he did um, the get voltage channel one, this is where I had to deviate from here on out, and then he just did the display print. Um, actually, I've changed these since this code, so yours will be different if you download his. And uh, just displayed it on the display and did a half second delay in this case. That's the math there. So what I did is I took, here's the code from mine. Let me just check the camera here and make sure getting it somewhat. The, uh, what I did uh, included the library, set up the pins. This is for the PLX DAC. So uh, you define the, the pins and uh, what I did is I took, actually his is still the DAC soft, this is still the DAC code and then I dumped in the display setup in the void setup. Um, basically verbatim, uh, except for the contrast. Uh, I found a mine, I set it 40, it causes severe flickering on the display. I don't know why, but uh, I bumped it up higher, 60 is basically getting black, 50 is a perfectly readable display with no more flicker. So, don't know why that works, it just does. At least for my 5110. Uh, this is the PLX DAC. It's, uh, where it prints it out to the serial port and uh, where it recycles once it hits 360 rows. And then what I did is dump in the code from before but added the rest of the remaining channels and labeled them channel 1 through 6. And then I just did an analog read from the appropriate pin and displayed it. And I put in a delay of 100 milliseconds at the bottom. I can delay that right back and you get way more stable, but then your DAC doesn't work nearly as good. So I found uh, I can actually go down further on that and really get finite data. This the Pro Mini really is quite capable. I don't know how, much, how accurate it is uh, if you get into really high sampling rates, but I can tell you this one works pretty good. Um, and that's it. That's the whole sketch. I didn't go through and comment all the code yet, but... Uh, I'll get around to it, but that's that's it so far, and I'm able to read from six analog inputs, no problem. And uh, yeah, one last shot. 
of the setup on the breadboard. Uh, pretty easy. Not much to this. It's uh, it's working pretty good. Oh, I'm getting a lot of glare off of that this time. I wonder whether that was all glare before. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Huh. Yeah, we'll try that. How about that? Yeah, that's a little better. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. Tap it on channel one. Working good. Uh, well on its way. So uh, we'll see where this leads. I'll uh, hook up some other stuff and maybe do some fun stuff with the display and see where it leads.